Okay, let's start with case number one. You guys want to be a doctor, so let's first get organized, go get a piece of paper, and let's write the 25 cases and the 25 answers that you think are right. And let's get started. 69-year-old male, non-retired farmer, he's still kicking, comes into your clinic complaining of severe lower back pain and pain in his right lower chest. He seems confused and looks pale. He coughs rust-colored sputum. His serum calcium level is 12.3. Creatinine is high. What's the most likely diagnosis? Is it Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, multiple myeloma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, acute myeloid leukemia, or myelofibrosis? Now pause the video. Welcome back. So let's dissect that. 69-year-old farmer, back pain, pain in his right lower chest. So it's probably not a cardiac pain. He seems confused and looks pale. He coughs rusty colored sputum, which is probably pneumonia. Okay. And calcium is high, creatinine is high. So we have 70 year old farmer, back pain, anemia, pneumonia, hypercalcemia, and probably renal failure. Okay, the diagnosis, of course, is multiple myeloma. Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia will have hyperviscosity syndrome. Hodgkin's lymphoma will have like a lymph node mass. Acute myeloid leukemia, usually the patient is younger. Myelofibrosis, I don't see. Yeah, multiple myeloma can lead to myelofibrosis, but I don't see like um, pancytopenia or something like that. So, or the teardrop cell. So multiple myeloma is the correct answer. Let's move on. Again, the same patient, okay, you know him. What's the most common symptom in these patients? Pause. The answer is, in multiple myeloma patients, the most common symptom is bone pain, by far, hands down, period. What's the most common sign in the, these patients? So, let's differentiate between symptom and sign. Symptom has a Y in it, so you, as a patient, will tell me. On the other hand, sign has an I in it. I am a doctor and I will find it myself through observation or through the physical exam. So what's the most common sign in these patients? Is it bone tenderness, pallor, palpable extramedullary plasma, cytoma, hepatomegaly, decreased height by several inches? Pause. And the answer is pallor, believe it or not. And it's not bone tenderness. Why is that? Because most of these, or like the vast majority of these patients, will have normocytic, normochromic anemia. That's why they are pale. Okay, why did I say farmer? Because farmers are exposed to pesticides, and pesticides are a risk factor for developing multiple myeloma. But I can't believe you. I can't believe that pallor is the most common sign. Okay. So, there is a textbook in medicine called Goldman Sissel Internal Medicine, okay? Open the 25th edition, which is the 2015th edition. Get chapter 187, page 1278, okay? It will say, pallor is the most common physical finding. So, shut up. And if you don't know Goldman Sissel as a textbook, you're not a doctor, you are a biology teacher at best. This is not a knock on biology teacher. They are very nice people. But let's get... <laughs> okay, let's move on. 